Is there a lesson in his evolution? Let's talk about what changed for him and how we may be able to make more like the mooch. We bring in the man himself, former Trump White House communications director, founder of Skybridge Capital, Anthony Scaramucci. It's good to see you, brother. Thank good you for being here. Good to see you. I, uh, that was seven years ago. I think we're holding our own. I know. You look better, though. We've got to stay you've in been, the gym. We've got to stay in the gym. You've, you've been doing something. Yep. Um, so let me ask you this. When you look back then and listen to yourself and see mm -hmm. yourself defending uh, what you know you never wanted to be yourself, but you defended it, mm -hmm. what was the difference? Well, I mean, there was a lot of equivocation. I think ultimately Vice President Pence and uh, Ambassador Haley and others, if they're going to be honest with the American people, they have to admit that they were an accomplice to President Trump, as was I. Um, and ultimately, the president created racial tension and divisiveness, and he threw a lot of hate bombs into the system. We chose to ignore that. That doesn't reflect well on me. Uh, but at least I'm honest about it. At least I can look into the camera and apologize to the American people for it. Why don't you all, and, why don't you and, still believe what not, they do? They're not, they're, not, Anthony. they're not willing to do that. But why, that's, a big, but, that's a big shame. Their willingness not to do it, mm -hmm. fair. But the basis for the unwillingness, instructive. Uh, their argument is, well, that's Antifa. That's the radical left. That's BLM. Yeah, no, that's what's, to, that's to what's doing it. We're defending. That's what they say. Yeah, but you see, to heal the country, you, know, you, you mentioned something in, in your remarks, and I, I appreciate your remarks about partisanship and not being partisan and so forth, but I'm still a Republican. People say to me, well, you should drop out of the Republican Party. Uh, they've left the ideas that you have. And I say, well, no. I, I think what we need to do is reform the Republican Party from within and try to find transformational leadership in the Republican Party but what's happening is the consultants have gotten a hold of these candidates, whether it's Governor DeSantis, Vice President Pence, Ambassador Haley, and they're basically all saying the same thing. Let me get to the right of Mr. Trump. Uh, he may drop out of the race, and if he does, that's my lane. Let's not agitate his base. But I think you could talk to that base more aspirationally. I think you could go to that base and explain to them that, listen, uh, we understand your anger, but what Mr. Trump was promising never worked. He never put one policy proposal together that helped the plight for you or your or your people. And, uh, you know, we've talked about this, and I'll just mention it. You know, I grew up in an aspirational, blue-collar, but middle-class family. That very same state 35 years ago is desperational blue-collar family. You know, 30 percent loss in real economic purchasing power in wages, Chris. And those people are very angry. They're upset with the establishment. They're upset with the medical establishment, the business establishment, the media establishment. And so tr Mr. Trump represents them in a way. He's an avatar for their anger. That used to be your okay. argument, yeah. though, that, look, I don't like some things about Trump personally, but got to cut the taxes, got to deregulate, and that's how we'll get help, the business help, booming help, and we'll help, help those people. people. Yeah. That, that ultimately was not enough. If you looked at the table... Uh, or, you, or you weighed the scales, what he was doing and saying and the incendiary nature of it and the div divisive nature of it uh, outweighed that. And I was wrong to do that. At least I'm a man and willing to admit it. Um, and I was an accomplice to what he was doing. And the current people that are running, except for Chris Christie, are accomplices to what he's doing even to this day. I think it's very dangerous. And ultimately, if you want to heal the country, you're talking about the flag, but the first name of the country is United. It's not the disunited states of America. It's not the tribal states of America. It is a comity of people uh, in a social contract, and we have to figure out a way to heal the country. And so Mr. Trump could never do that. Uh, it, it is about him, the nonsense at the beginning of the show where he's standing in the way of them coming after these other people. That's just not true. Uh, he's never been like that, and he never will be like that. And when you actually read through these indictments, the good news for Mr. Trump is that no one's reading the indictment. Right. So his followers are like, oh, they're just coming after him, and it's whataboutism related to the documents in Joe Biden's garage or Hillary Clinton's bleach bidding or emails. And the facts are actually very different for those cases as what was spelled out but by— it feels the, right. It feels, it feels right. right. And, and hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.